The success of every woman should be the inspiration to another. We should raise each other up. When I hear those words, I think about all the women in my circle, in my life, the frequent conversations we get to have to support one another through challenges in this virtual world. Um, the text group chat will go crazy when someone is celebrating their success. And I love that. Um, I believe that as women, we can glow in our own right and we can help each other glow and we can still be lit in doing that. The quote really resonates with me because it reminds me to be like the very best that I can be because someone else might be looking at, okay, look, she can do that. Why can't I? And kind of inspire each other to accomplish as much as we can together. People think of Latina women as being fiery and fierce, which is usually true. But I think the quality that so many Latinas possess is strength. But not only Latinas, this is true of all women. Women possess the strength to persevere against many challenges. Women possess the strength to continue moving their career forward. And many possess the strength to break the glass ceiling. I am grateful to be a woman. I must have done something great in another life. Those words mean the world to me. Um, since I can remember, being a mother was one of the things that I dreamed about. And I think all of us can just kind of relate to um, the love and the compassion that we felt from our own mothers and to be able to serve that role in life to my children, uh, but also to be someone who wears many hats, who is not only a caretaker, but also a professional, someone who um, tries to bring that same compassion to my leadership. It means the world to me. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it if only we're brave enough to be it. This quote means to me, there is always hope for a better tomorrow. Be brave, press through challenges, stand in your light as you are the beacon for those who are searching for their light as well. Living in a society, in a changing world, I think it's important for us to to think about where we want to go, who we want to be, and be examples for that next generation, for the current generation, um, and be able to to uh, be different. You know, have that courage to be different. Have that uh, courage to to be the life for others to see who they want to imitate. When I hear those words, I feel very inspired. And it reminds me that I have it within myself to do anything that I want as long as I put my mind to it. When I hear these words, I think about faith. Because of my faith, I know there's an everlasting source of light in this world. And that source gives us the ability to see light in people, things, and circumstances, whether good or bad. This quote also reminds me, we're all called and have a responsibility to be a source of light in a sometimes dark world. So be brave enough to let your light shine. Think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. This quote resonated with me because as women, we strive for perfection every day in our family life, our homes, and our professional roles. Yet it is through our imperfections that we develop true grit and grace. Today, think like a queen. Celebrate doing our best with the gifts that we have and embracing the glorious hot mess that we sometimes are. You should never let your fears prevent you from doing what is right. In life, fearlessly doing what is right may put you in hot waters. However, I believe that doing what is right in the eyes of God and in the eyes of law, if not rewarded on earth, will always be rewarded in heaven. With that, I am at peace. Fight for the things you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. When I think about this, I think it means we need to be clear, we need to be consistent, we need to be inclusive, we need to be honest, we need to be humble, we need to be vulnerable, we need to be resilient, we need to be present, we need to be passionate, as she was, but we also need to be compassionate. 
So in short, we need to lead in a way that inspires other people to join us. And I'm constantly trying to be a little bit more like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. As a female leader, these words really resonate to remind me that if it's worth speaking up about, be sure to choose your words and your style wisely so that you can be heard. Don't let anyone define you. You define yourself. When I hear those words, it reminds me that each of us has the ability to write our own story. But to do this, we must trust our own internal compass and stay true to what we feel in our soul. Interacting with our world is a dynamic process. If we cultivate an understanding of who we are, we will not lose ourselves while also allowing others to define themselves. This is perhaps the most impactful advice I received in my career, which is even when faced with doubt or uncertainty, to be confident in your ability to create and forge your own path and achieve your goals. Today, it is part of my leadership philosophy, which I try to use to inspire others. This quote spoke to me because I do not allow others to define me because of my confidence. People will judge you or define you no matter how you present yourself or how good you are at what you do or even if you make a mistake or two. I've learned how to use what people think of me as a compliment and as a strength builder instead of letting their judgment or definition of me be a discouragement. When I hear those words, it actually makes me feel a little sad and then passionate. Sad because I think a lot of people look at others as a way to define themselves when they are perfect in their own right. What other people think of you is not important. It's what you think of yourself that really matters. If you like who you are and feel good about yourself, that confidence will show the strong, wonderful person that you are. What you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. I love to give forth my best effort in everything that I do. I'm the type of person that if you're not giving 100%, then there's no point in doing it. So you're always going to find that I'm pushing myself harder and harder to be the best person that I can be. And I want that to reflect on other people. I want that to drive them to be the best person that they can be. This Jane Goodall quote resonates with me because it reminds me that I have the power to choose how I'm going to impact the world. Working in engineering, every decision, every change, big or small, has an impact on the people around me. When we consciously choose to make a positive difference in our work, we make a better future for everyone around us today and for those who will carry on this work after us. In celebration of International Women's Day, I ask you, what kind of a difference will you choose to make? <laughs>